Hello and welcome today in our first video addressing truth and some rumors on COVID-19 vaccines. Today, you will get to know five things about these vaccines with Dr. Ivan Houghton, the Director of Communicable Diseases in the WHO Office for the Eastern Mediterranean Region. Welcome, Dr. Ivan, and thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Manira. So, um, Dr. Ivan, um, people thinking that COVID vaccines were developed quickly and they don't know how much these vaccines are safe. And a lot of people, they think that they shouldn't be test subjects for these vaccines. So um, could you comment on that? Definitely. So in fact, you're absolutely right that these vaccines were developed at lightning speed. It's very remarkable. But by doing this, uh, no corners were, were cut. And all the vaccines that we have available today, they've been approved by what we call these national regulatory authorities that have extremely stringent criteria. And one of the reasons that we're able to buy time is that we were doing all this research in the middle of a pandemic where we have quite a few cases. So when we have cases, it's a lot of good opportunities to see if the vaccine works or not. Also, we've benefited from all the experience over the years in vaccine development from Ebola, from the flu, so we know much more than we used to. So should people wait um, to see that? What are these side effects on everyone till they decide to get these vaccines or not? At this stage, we have a good understanding of the effectiveness and also the safety of these vaccines. And the data is very reassuring. The vaccines are very effective and they're very effective, including against the variants. And the safety profile is very reassuring. And particularly in the context of the pandemic, everybody who was offered the vaccine should take the vaccine to prevent disease, to prevent death. So another thing, people think that they will get very dangerous side effects after getting these vaccines. And they know a lot of people, they might die after getting the vaccine. So is the COVID-19 vaccine worth taking this risk? We know that from the studies that in the clinical trials, the side effects were very rare. When we've introduced the vaccine in real population to millions of people, this is when we started to detect some very, very rare side effects. Because when you give it to a lot of people, this is where you have the opportunity to find rare events. So we know that there's a, some vaccine that are very rare, severe side effects, but these side effects are much less common than the risk of getting COVID and the complication of COVID. So there's no question, particularly in the middle of a pandemic, when the risk of COVID, the risk of hospitalization, the risk of death from COVID is so high, there's no question that uh, everybody who is offered the vaccine should take the vaccine. So um, we hear that a lot of people, they, they may test positive after they've taken the vaccine. And a lot of people, they think that some people will end up in the ICUs. So this shows that vaccines, they are not that, they are not that effective so towards the, the, the pandemic. So is it still worth it to, to take the risk and to get these vaccines? So definitely, there will be some people who get vaccinated and then they get COVID. That will happen. Two things can happen. One thing is the person get exposed to COVID, then get the vaccine. Then that person received the vaccine too late and it's... Uh, uh, perfectly uh, understandable that they develop COVID after the vaccine. Another case scenario is if they've been vaccinated appropriately and they still develop COVID. So uh, we can explain that in a very simple way. We know the vaccines are very effective, but they're not 100% effective. So that means there will still be a few cases of people getting COVID after the vaccine. But what we know is that the number of cases of COVID after the vaccine is much, much, much lower than the number of cases that would occur in people that don't take the vaccine. And that is what is important. So if we're saying that the pandemic is going to continue like after like people getting the vaccine, so what is the real value of getting vaccinated? So the vaccine can help us in the pandemic in a number of ways. At the beginning, what we want to do is end the acute phase of the pandemic by, vaccinated, by vaccinating the priority group. That includes the healthcare workers 
and that include the elderly and the people with disabilities. So if we do this, we might still at the beginning have some transmission, but we'll have less death, less hospitalization, less morbidity. Ultimately, when we get enough vaccine, we could distribute the vaccine in the whole population and have an impact on transmission. That is not for tomorrow, maybe a bit later. And so at the moment, it's quite understandable to see that we have usage of the vaccine and still some transmission. So, uh, Dr. Ivan, now there are so many different kinds of vaccines. Like we have some approved by WHO and some others are still in the process of, you know, manufacturing and some other received other, you know, emergency approval from like the European Medicine Agency. So how do I know which which vaccine, which is, which is the best that I can take? The best vaccine for you is the first one that's approved in your country that you're eligible to receive. That's a public health approach. Me living in Egypt, in April, I became eligible for a vaccine. I was offered AstraZeneca vaccine. It's approved by the National Regulatory Authority. I took it. I protected myself. I protect the others around me. Thank you, Dr. Ivan. Thank you, everyone, for being with us today. Till next time, stay safe and stay healthy.